It's been less than one year since Governor Sean Parnell signed Senate Bill 21 into effect. Officially known as the Make Alaska More Production Act, oil and gas executives say Alaska is well on its way to an energy renaissance. Oil tax reform helps us um, take a look at the pace and, and um, accelerate some of these um, projects. While Shell may have pulled out of oil production for 2014, BP says that is not the plan for them. But we're moving forward with a 15 well program in 2015 and 2016. Now, this particular program, if we have success there, it could enable several hundred new wells and bring on several hundred million barrels of resources. According to WISE, of the 13 states with oil production, Alaska was the only state to see a decline during 2011 and 2012. But she says that was then and this is now. The company will be adding at least one new rig each year until 2016. And our plans are to, to um, add year on year on year at least seven new wells drilled in that area. In that area. BP executives say their plans for the North Slope will benefit Alaskans statewide. And in all, a single rig adds a couple of hundred jobs to the Alaskan economy directly. Each rig is also directly supported by about two dozen other contractors and vendors for everything from drilling fluids and donuts to roads and moving rigs. But let's not forget the initiative to repeal Senate Bill 21. In August, Alaskans will vote to keep the tax cut or send it packing. When asked to explain how this could hurt oil business, Wise pointed out that it would be a decline for North Slope production. We're investing more back into Alaska because this whole oil tax reform has reset the balance such that capital is attracted back here in Alaska. Whether you support the oil tax break or call it a giveaway, BP's presence on the North Slope appears to be growing both Alaska's economy and oil production. Reporting in Anchorage, Victoria Taylor, your Alaska Link.